Climate change eco-anarchists are now waging war on electric cars. A crew of activists crashing the New York International Auto Show and splashing oil on an electric truck. The wacko group responsible for the protest says the push for EVs is too late, and building them is as carbon-intensive, if not more, than that of gas-powered vehicles, cars. Okay, you know, I've always said that, Greg, mm -hmm. that, yeah. I mean, the impact on the environment is just as bad. Yeah, the electric grid, uh, the batteries. I mean, they might find out a way, but it seems to me these uh, eco-terrorists or whatever are running out of villains. <laughs> You know, they're going after, but they're not, oddly enough, they're not running out of money. They still have incredibly wealthy benefactors like the Gettys that, you know, basically these protesters are their indulgences for the uber rich. They fund these people uh, to, to help excuse the sins that they commit against the environment. As long as they keep these guys going, they could fly their planes. It's basically a symbolic absolution to allow the Gettys and the Soruses and the and the politicians like Gavin Newsom and Justin Trudeau, they can still live the life they choose because they care. Mm. All right, Dana, we should take their shoes, their glasses, their phones, everything made from fossil fuels and see how long they like it. And also how they got there. I would love to see them get there by horse and buggy. That would be that. pretty amazing. It does also show you that the left that Biden is trying to appease, especially on the green, with, the, with the Greens or with the pro-Hamas folks, you're never going to satisfy them. Mm -hmm. You can take all of these federal dollars and offer subsidies to all of these people that you want to make them buy an electric vehicle that they don't even want, that they'll take everyone's money and give you $500 credit or a $5,000 credit to go buy an EV, when at the same time, I mean, even a stop clock is right twice a day, and they're not wrong that these EVs are bad for the environment. You forgot, Greg, to bring up the children. Ah. How about the children <laughs> who have to mine these things? Mm. Well, I'm pro, don't I'm pro the children miners. Right. Yes, that's right. <laughs> miners should be miners. Ah, oh, good. very good. Thank you. All right. One study found that brakes and tires on EVs release, Harold, 1,850 times more particle pollution compared to modern tailpipes. Look, there's got to be some reconciling here with, with some of this, and I don't disagree with that. But I, the problem that bothers me, the thing that bothers me the most about this, is that there's no decency anymore in any of this. We People do these kinds of things at funerals, at church services, St. Easter Pat's. church service, at St. Pat's had to deal with this. We run these oh, stories that, that people terrible. block the roads and the highways, people trying to get to work, get, get medical care, get home. Um, I, I think people, I love activism, and I love people protesting their thoughts and their views. But it, it has a re it reaches some limits, and it's just in unacceptable when you do th this. Here is the least of it. When you're blocking roads, you don't allow people to get home in the hospitals. Uh, something is wrong. Jesse, would you like to wrap this up for us? Permission to make an analogy? Oh, yes, yes, of course. This yes. reminds me of when I tried to book Clooney. Is George available Saturday? Oh no, not this Saturday. Well, what about next Saturday? Oh no, next month. Is there any time? Maybe next year we could send a van. To the answer was always no. There was nothing that we could do to make this man agree. It's the same thing with these people. You're going to start getting down to hang gliders. Well, what about hang gliders? <laughs> what, about, what about walking? Is walking okay? Nope. No walking. That's where we are. All you right. Me, do you want me to call you. him? <laughs> you call him. I'll call him. All right. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.